Hello my Soc Universe and welcome to the Iberian Review. I think it's the channel debut, at least the review debut for my Espanol shirt. Very well deserved. We had the big Madrid-Barcelona fight. Funnily enough, in the, in the Premier League with Manchester against, Liv uh, against Liverpool. Here we had now Madrid against Barcelona. Blue and white shirts is what I was actually looking most for uh, this season. I got Espanol and do you see this one? Yes, I haven't revealed it the unpacking video, but I'm only one subscriber shirt. But if you are watching my review videos, you always get a sneak preview for special jerseys. However, it is Espanol who deserve uh, the honor as the team that made the biggest jump in the standings, the biggest move overall, and I mean now expected um, there. Um, one overarching theme, and this is not only in Spain and Portugal, but we can also go, we will also go, go for, the, for other videos, especially the France, Netherlands, and the Germany video. Uh, that the big favorites lost, or the big teams are losing, the biggest teams are losing. Uh, and we all uh, saw this, uh, yeah, it was a very weird we uh, weekend. Uh, it's just in one league where I care about, but not in these, it did not work out. So yeah, uh, in both cases, the Madrid-Barcelona duel, the smaller teams, although I, at the moment, I would not argue that Atletico Madrid is a bigger team than Barcelona, but of course, historically and in standing, Barcelona is a much bigger team than Atletico Madrid. But the smaller teams won those derbies. So I find this also, of course, we had the revenge of Luis Suarez. But uh, before we go into that, I actually could watch a little bit of poor, poor Portugal. I saw the final minutes of Portugal against Passos. Uh, Passos. That's what I, I would love to know if you know how to pronounce this correctly uh, from Ferreira. Um, Vassos had a lead and Porto came back, uh, so the, uh, Santos gave uh, Ferreira a lead then uh, Diaz and Vendel turned, turned it around right after, after I didn't see any of the goals, but uh, it was more or less than uh, Porto trying to see this uh, off and uh, heading a lot of uh, possession. However, I got to say, Porto also has probably the dumbest striker in Europe at this moment in Mediterrami. Uh, the way he went about uh, in, in the box already on a ye yellow card, making an obvious dive and then getting so worked up to get a second yellow card and sent off in a game that you're already winning, I cannot. And this is not the first time I, I see this. Yes, I think last season in the Champions League he was once unlucky. But overall, whenever I see him, he does so many dumb things. Great striker, I, I would suppose, but uh, there's something quite not right. Something quite not right with Benfica as well. You beat Barca uh, in in the midweek. Well, these days almost anyone, and then you lose against Portimonense. Have not seen much. Uh, the winning goal came in the 66th minute after uh, Jaremcu goal. The 50th for Benfica had been disallowed. So quite big results. Sporting getting a win, making a huge jump uh, because of that. And then I think the nominal biggest game between Prague and Boavista ended. To, uh, to, uh, in the standings, it all means that everything is getting closer because Benfica now lost for, for the first first time. Porto and Sporting, one point behind Benfica, uh, both levels, just Porto having a slightly better goal difference. And as you know, if you watch my uh, stats cast, it's always super tight after the top four or five. Sturil is still very, very high up, but at the moment still Benfica, but now by a hair ahead of Porto, Sporting just behind, so we have to see how it will turn out. Um, as I said, I made, this time I only can report from two uh, games in Spain, um, but you know, I made every effort to watch Atletico against uh, Barca, and I have to say, first off, atmosphere, Amazing, we had a full stadium in Spain again, and it's all worth it. Uh, we, they couldn't hear each other any, any, anymore. And this is probably, I want to say, the best atmosphere I have seen since the return of Corona. Uh, very, and that is comes from a Spanish uh, ground, is for me also a little bit uh, to chuckle, but this was the best atmosphere. This was vibrant, loud, everything that you would wish for such a big game. Um, Barcelona's jerseys were rather underwhelming. I have to say the country is rather, rather poor. Some like it, I do not. Uh, and what can I say about the game? Um, 
Yes, Barcelona had a lot of possession. I think that Barcelona as a team uh, didn't look completely out of sorts. However, defensively, uh, Atletico Madrid could slice them open left and right. And it was especially uh, Lemar, um, Joao Felix and Luis Suarez. Whenever those three, and Luis, uh, Joao Felix had an outstanding game. Whenever those got to the ball, it was high danger. Um, I think they could have scored more in the first half. Uh, the pass from Luis Suarez to Thomas Lemar was uh, great and the how Le Lemar finished. Brilliant finish, it was, and it was easy. It was really just being ahead of every step. And uh, the second goal also, Lemar sending Suarez on the, I mean, it was first uh, Joao Felix turn, then the ball goes to uh, Lemar who plays it perfectly weighted into Luis Suarez, who has ample of space and time. He can look up, he can take three touches. And he said it even after, after the game, he knew he knows those defenders, he can anticipate every move of theirs, so it was rather easy for him to score. He just had to put it neatly in the internet. And yes, when he celebrated, he kind of, you know, Barcelona, I'm sorry that I scored against you because I really enjoyed my time there, but he also made sure, hey, you guy up there, you gave me the phone call and sacked me, and now I'm scoring against you. So, uh, Luis Suarez totally deserve, uh, totally uh, wins the, the, this was what, what we all have been waiting for in many ways. Uh, Barcelona again had no shots on goal as far as I could tell, but they had pretty, two pretty good chances uh, through Coutinho. I always had the feeling that there would be something there. You know, you have the um, Frankie de Jong, you have Memphis Depay. If there's another player in the form of the quality of Memphis Depay up front, I think Barcelona could have something good going there. However, uh, it looked rather, rather tame at the moment and Atletico Madrid fully deserving of the three points there. Uh, the other duel went to <laughs> Barcelona. Espanyol beat Real Madrid. I have been so high on Real Madrid. And now, uh, this week, first uh, nil against Villarreal, then they lose against Sheriff, and now they lose to Espanyol. Uh, and Esp Espanyol, for 60 minutes, played really, really, really well uh, with Raul de Tomaso, Ardo Tito Titot, uh, scoring the first one, and Vidal uh, in the 60th, adding the second. And at that point, they really just sliced, similar to Atleti, sliced Madrid open. Uh, however, Real Madrid did come back and show the re uh, uh, reaction and you saw that Bozema is just in outstanding form. Uh, very much an individual effort of getting the game back uh, within reach. A goal by Azar did not count because Bozema, I think, in the build-up was offside by a, frag a fraction. He just kind of find the winner and Espanyol hang on to a famous, famous win. I uh, also want to point out Villarreal's 2-0 win over Betis. That was a uh, rather um, no, notable one because it was seemingly unhurried, well, whatever. Pretty good. Villarreal is still the only unbeaten team. The province they only have two wins, I think five draws or something like that. And Granada against Sevilla. 1-0 also, so all the big Champions League teams except Atleti have lost, so really not a good week for Spain. Uh, one thing that's interesting is we again have coming back from the international break a few games postponed in Spain because we don't have all South American stars. Among those is Atletic Club against Real Madrid. So the next time we see Real Madrid is in the Clasico which is one of those where we don't know what will happen. Barcelona has, has to play Valencia first. Any case, very interesting uh, developments in Spain. I, I would like to know what you th uh, th uh, thought about the ha happenings um, in La Liga. Uh, if you were interested uh, in my expected things, you can see more in stats. Cause Real Madrid still ahead of Atletico Madrid at the moment, but Bar Barcelona now at a distance already in Sevilla rounds it out. Real Sociedad via Real Betis the, uh, to, uh, kind of maybe could get in there, but uh, rather unlikely. In any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!